we didn't hear any alerts or anything. Went to bed and about 4.30, my husband got up and the house was full of smoke. And he said, we gotta get out of here. So um, because we didn't have power, we couldn't uh, open the, the garage doors uh, electrically. So I started throwing things in the car. I went back downstairs to get the carrier for the cat and to put the cat in the carrier. And she was, I noticed she was gone off the sofa. And Fran, that's when you saw the fire. Fran had the, uh, the Prius rear hatch was open, loading stuff in there. And I went to look at, you know, you have to manually open the car, the, the garage with the pull downs. So I was looking to go do that. And I noticed that the fire was bursting out of our neighbor's fence that split our properties. And the fire was just licking up the fence. And I said, Fran, we don't have time to raise these garage doors manually and get out of this house. We have to get the dogs and, and go down to And there was fire the across the street too, we saw. So that's what we so, did, so. Uh, we, we loaded up the, we leashed up the dogs and took them down the stairs, down the back, to, you know, to the lower exit. We started walking down and we were already noticing that there were tree limbs down here and tree limbs down there blocking our way down a little bit. But we managed to get down to the river and um, we went in on our property level and we started to walk down river a little bit below our neighbor's house actually. So we, down you know, river. Yeah. we just got down maybe, maybe that little bit, maybe, you know, 50 feet, 100 feet or whatever it is between the, the two properties and we just stayed there and the, the fires was starting to burst around us uh, on the trees uh, and, across the, and river. across the river as well. The fire was behind us, headed, and we didn't know if it would go all the way down by the bank. So we went initially into the river, you know, for protection, obviously, and we knew that we were safer in the river than anywhere on that lower property. And so we stayed in the river about an hour. And then as we're watching everything, you know, catch on fire and you could hear our neighbor um, to the uh, to the left, left. of, uh, to, to the right of us as you're facing the Would property. Would have been to the west of us, Had yeah. a, uh, a little wooden cabin and that went up you know, unbelievably quickly. And uh, so, but when we realized that it wasn't coming down so quickly, we got on the bank as you could barely see because the smoke was so bad. And then the, um, uh, and then you would all of a sudden when something caught, you know, you would see the flame shooting up. I told my husband as we were going down, I said, I love you in case something happens. You know, I really thought we were gonna die. I was more scared than I've been my entire life. And I've, you know, been in some, I was in the military. I've been in some situations that were pretty scary. But this, I really thought, um, if we didn't have that river, we would have died. I mean, I really think it, it afforded us that protection. That's all I thought about, you know, to let him know that. And, um, and I think that's all, you know, that's all I thought about that this was it and um, I did, I really thought we weren't gonna make it at that point because literally it was behind us. You know, we were running from this thing and uh, I pretty much thought we were gonna lose our house at that point. You know, there was no way uh, because we saw evidence that it was coming right there. So I sort of put that in the back of my mind. And I just, you know, it was survival. And that's why we ran to that river. I'm very thankful uh, that we, what's the most important thing is that we lived and we have our, most of our animals with us. I'm very appreciative of those volunteer firemen that risk their life every day, that they came up at their risk um, from uh, the Gates Fire Department and Staten Fire Department and they rescued us. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna die um, and we're gonna survive and where do we go from here?